Hello, Red Rick Productions here with another LEGO review. Today I have the LEGO Star Wars Millennium Falcon Microfighter. The set number is 75295. It has 101 pieces, one minifigure, or not further ado, let's take a look at that figure. So for your minifigure, you get Han Solo, which is perfectly appropriate considering he is one of the pilots for the Millennium Falcon. Looks pretty good. I do wish the torso printing on the front was a little bit more opaque. Like the shirt doesn't match up too well, and neither does the skin color on there. It's just, it, it's really bad. It, it's pretty bad for Lego quality. Um, the pants look pretty good. I do like that a lot. And he does have an alternate face where he is more serious looking. So yeah, you do get some pretty expressive face prints there. And I think those work pretty well. His accessory is just a little blaster and I think that works well. So yeah, that's it for the figure. And now let's take a look at the build. So for the build, you basically get a Millennium Falcon. I mean, what you see here is what you get. Pretty good looking Millennium Falcon, in my opinion, for a micro fighter scale. They got pretty good shaping there and all. Um, I do like this print here, which we got in the last Millennium Falcon micro fighter. Looks pretty good still. Um, I like the little satellite build there. And they have two stud shooters at the top, which you can just fire off one by one or at two or one at a time or two at a time, whichever one you feel like. Um, I do like the greebling on the sides right here. I think those look actually pretty good. Um, yeah, pretty much this is what you get. It is pretty swooshable. You can fly this around and fire off the studs with your thumb. Yeah, works pretty well. Of course, there's a spot for Han Solo to sit. He looks pretty good in there. Um, yeah, I really like this. Uh, on the back here, I actually hid the extra studs right there. If you want to do that, you can. And it doesn't affect it at all they're just right behind that hyperdrive <laughs> but yeah looks pretty good i i mean hey it's a millennium falcon for the box you get the micro fighter series 8 um on the back it shows just that you can shoot off the studs and then it also shows another micro fighter set which i don't know if it came out yet i don't know i'll have to look at that later for the instructions they're pretty short um there is an advertisement at the end. Of course, the instructions say how to build it. They show the set all built up. And then some actually some really cool Star Wars at, um, sets. I really want to get that Mando set right there. I feel like that would be really cool. And then they show the minifigures that they include. Looking pretty good. And then the Star Star Wars the Skywalker Saga game. The piece count. And then the win. So that's really it for the instructions. Now let's look at the leftover pieces. For the leftover pieces, there isn't really anything that stands out to me. So yeah, now let's take a look at my final verdict. So for my final verdict, I mean, what you see here is what you get. You get a Micro Fighter Millennium Falcon with Han Solo. Um, yeah, pretty good. And now for those people that are like, well, we got a Micro Fighter Millennium Falcon not too long ago. Well, then don't buy this. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to buy this set. If you already have the Millennium Falcon Micro Fighter from however long ago it came out, don't get this. This is for the people like me who don't have a Millennium Falcon micro fighter. Yeah, so that's that. Um, honestly, this is pretty good. I like the figure. I do wish the torso printing was more opaque. Um, and then the print right there is actually pretty cool. And you could probably get some interesting little mocks and use that in it. Uh, yeah, I really like this. I mean... It's $10 for the price. That's the usual micro fighter price. I mean, I feel like I would like to see it at seven, but it's always 10. So I can't complain there. Overall, I'd have to give this like an A minus, to be honest. I think the only thing bringing it down is that Han Solo's um, production wasn't the greatest. And um, if I recommend this, well, I don't really know because I actually almost passed up on this. I was really not going to get this at all but one thing changed that and I'll, <laughs> I'll have to explain that in a different video because it'll be really cool um but yeah that's good good with me i like it so if you like this video please consider liking and subscribing and i'll see you in my next video peace out bye